I used to play the bass when I first started playing it in the church. I used to stand there and just play the bass. I'm going to use a song, uh, Ancient of Days, as an example. And uh, they used to say, be transparent. Be transparent. So uh, don't draw attention to yourself. In other words, what I was being told in my beginning stages, uh, you know, as far as the church is concerned, they said, what you do in the world, you can't do in the church. Because in the world, see, they want to bring attention to themselves. Okay? But not in the church. Okay? So I used to play Ancient of Days, Blessing and Honor, Glory and Power. I used to stand up there, man, like a you know, lump on a log, you know, okay? And not until the prophet came and said, man, you play that bass. And after that, after I got an understanding of what, you know, what was really going on, I started getting into that song. Blessing and Honor, Glory and Power, Bring unto the end I started getting into that song. In other words, when they said be transparent, not to, draw, not to draw attention to yourself. Let me tell you something. In the world, and even in the church, there are fantastic singers. There's fantastic musicians. Okay? There's no doubt about that. But there's a difference between a great musician or a great singer and then an anointed musician or an anointed singer. It's something about the anointing that takes us to a higher place. I can play a single note in the natural, and you'll hear that E. That's an E. But if I can play that note under the anointing of God, you will not only hear the E, but you will hear the voice of the Father because the anointing now has been attached to it. You see what I'm saying? So in other words, when you tap into the anointing and when God is infused with you and your gift, then your gift now, what's in your hand, is no longer anything natural. It has now become supernatural. It is the voice of God. Because see, once you tap into that, now you're hearing sounds from heaven. You're hearing sounds from the kingdom of God. Those sounds cannot be produced naturally. The only way that those sounds can be reproduced and to be heard is through the supernatural. And that's by the anointing. Because when you start speaking those sounds, or start reproducing those sounds, saying those words, replaying what you are hearing, then you are speaking the word of the Lord. God is talking. And then now Mysteries are being unfolded. Mysteries are being revealed. And then the secrets of people's hearts will soon begin to be revealed. And then they will cry out and say, what must I do? What must I do to be like you? Okay? It's the anointing that breaks the yoke. So tap into the anointing, y'all. And, 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 and transparency to me is this. Be transparent to God, not to man. You don't need to be transparent to man. You need to be transparent to God because see, God knows everything about us anyway. When we try to put on a facade in front of God, God says, well, you know, well, who is this? Who is this? I'm looking for Charlie. If I try to come to God in any other way other than the way Charlie is, well, he can't find me. That's why in the beginning when I was doing the blessing and honor, God was looking for, I'm looking for the real Charlie. I'm looking for that Charlie that knows how to get down and get just downright funky. You know what I'm saying? In other words, be yourself. When you be yourself, God can be himself in you. Amen? There's many more of these teachings that we're going to be bringing forth. So stick around, okay? Because me and my bass guitar, we're going to be praising God all the way. <laughs>